Well, before Ross was arrested, I never really gave the drug war very much thought, to be honest. And since then, I've learned of the devastation that it has uh, wreaked on this country. Um, it's been going on for 40 years. It cost the taxpayer $40 billion a year. Uh, it seems to me if its goal is to decrease drug use, it's been an abject failure. But if its uh, purpose is to uh, expand government power and the prison industrial complex and destroy millions of lives, it's, it's been a rousing success. Um, before the drug war, back in, back in my youth, um, <laughs> the number of prisoners stayed at a pretty steady 180,000. Today, it has increased 730 percent to one and a half million people behind bars, which is the most of any country on earth. Um, today, according to the DOJ J website, there are six million people in the prison system, um, either in prison, on parole, or probation. If it were a city, our prison system would be the second largest in the country after New York. And a lot of these people are there because they they plea to things they haven't done because they're terrified of the mandatory minimums they would face if they go to trial and lose. Um, now, this is personal for me because of Ross, but also because of the people I've come to know at the prison because I visit there regularly and I've gotten to know the families. And like me, they are visiting someone who's often nonviolent and unconvicted because it's a transitional facility. But I've seen children clutching their fathers, wanting to get that last bit of love from their father before they have to leave. I've seen wives and husbands hugging each other and you know clinging to each other after their meager hour a week that they get to be with each other. These are shattered families. These are wounded children. These statistics are real people. And um, it's, you know, I think it's a national disgrace. Some good news, uh, I think more people are becoming aware of it. I know, I've read that on um, often jurors now, uh, well, it's a tradition in our country, but more jurors are voting not guilty, not only based on the evidence, but on whether they feel a law is just or whether a punishment is unjust. Um, and in fact, this kind of um, action was very important in repealing the first prohibition, which was alcohol. So um, that's a piece of pro positive. Right. Yeah, there's been a uh, sort of an expansion. There's an op-ed I read in the New York Times about jury nullification, where they're using that tool more to try to battle back against the drug war, where the jury often doesn't realize they have the right to nullify a uh, a trial that they're overseeing due to not agreeing with the law. Um, one sort of tool that the, the people have that they need to use it. Um, what's the way, no, we're going to open up the questions in a second. What's the way forward? 